Well, good morning, everyone. I'm glad to join you this morning. I'm Pastor Keith, and welcome to Virtual Bread. You know, I was thinking this week about our graduates, those seniors and, and college seniors and high school seniors who were to be graduating this week <clears throat> to be awarded a diploma, the reward for, um, for enduring through their classes for 13 years uh, and, uh, and more if you were in college. And, and now, in this time, that's been taken away from most of us. And, and if you're a, a senior or a parent of a senior or a grandparent of a senior, well, it's just uh, a bitter time. It's disappointing. You've worked so hard, and then this, this crown of, of achievement that you were supposed to receive has, has been taken away. And I wonder, you know, if we, if we sometimes look at life like that, if, if we look at life as something that we're working through and working through and enduring trials and enduring suffering, and then what do we have in the end? What do we have to look forward to? <clears throat> it seems like there's just one trial after another. And, um, and we know from scriptures that that's not the case, that, that we do have something to look forward to. In fact, um, God tells us in, in a number of places in scripture uh, that, that we have a crown of life to look forward to in the end. And in fact, uh, in Revelation, in, in, in uh, chapter 2, verses uh, 10, he, he talks to his uh, church uh, through a letter, and he, he says this, that, Do not fear what you're about to suffer. Behold, the devil is about to throw some of you into prison, that you may be tested, and for ten days you will have tribulation. Be faithful unto death, and I will give you the crown of life. I love that verse. Be faithful unto death, and I will give you the crown of life. That's what we're called to do in this life, is to be faithful. It's not to be perfect, because um, we won't be. Uh, it's not to be successful, because sometimes we're not. Um, it's to be faithful through our trials and through our tribulations, and we'll receive the crown of life. And that wasn't just an instruction for this church in Smyrna. It was also an instruction for all of us who are Christians, and we know that because it's supported in other areas of Scripture. And especially if you read uh, James 1.12, it kind of mirrors this, uh, this verse from Revelation. Blessed is the one who endures trials, because when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life that God has promised to those who love him. God has promised to those who love him, to those who endure, to those who are faithful through this test, that we will receive the crown of life. This won't be taken away. This can't be taken away like our, our diplomas or, or our graduation ceremonies this year. This has been promised by God, the Creator, and has been uh, sealed through Jesus Christ, through his death and through his resurrection, that we have hope to look forward to, even in these times of tribulation and even these times of trials. And the church that, that was written about in Revelation, well, they were actually going to be um, facing death. And so even in times that, that seem hopeless, even in times where we're facing death or um, just thinking about the end of our life, for those who endure, for those who keep going, for those who have faith, God is promising a crown of life. And so I hope that brings you encouragement today.